Hello everybody and welcome to a beautiful fall day. This is day three for me harvesting potatoes. And in the quest of learning how they did things in the 1900s, I'm realizing another way that you can store potatoes long term for six months or longer is another method that we're going to be doing today. I have my previous harvest of potatoes and now I have today's harvest and so I'm going to go ahead harvest the rest of these potatoes and then we will go in the kitchen or maybe we'll go outside somewhere else I'm not sure yet where we'll go but we're going to work on the potatoes and I'll show you what we're going to do to make them last like the 19th century. Okay, so I got another bucket of potatoes. I'm not quite finished yet. While I'm dirty like this, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest my tomatoes, finish hoeing the garden, and then I'm gonna get a shower and then I'll meet you in the kitchen and then we'll work on all of these potatoes. Well, my potato harvest is done and I got quite a bit of potatoes and I'm going to show you another skill that I am learning and that is storing your potatoes in burlap bags. Now, this would have been a tradition back in the 1800s and the 1900s. People stored their onions and potatoes and sometimes carrots, but we're gonna do a whole different segment on carrots. And I'm gonna show you how I'm going to store my potatoes. I have these burlap bags and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna sort through everything because I'm also gonna be cooking some beets as well. So let me show you my harvest. All right, so here are my potatoes and I'm gonna put them into these bags. Now, I'm not gonna put that many in one. I'm just going to put some in each one because I have plenty of bags. Now, we're gonna take a good look at them and any that need to get used up, I'll put in a separate bag. You wanna make sure you don't have any light in your potatoes. Potatoes exposed to light makes them green. And if you eat enough of the green, it can actually really make you sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put all of these in here. And then these I store in my very dark pantry. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking, make sure there's no nicks or anything like that as I was harvesting them. All right, so this one is only half full, but that's as full as I'm gonna make it. That way I can keep track of them a little better. Make sure none of them get soft. Oh, here I got a cucumber. It doesn't belong in there. Now don't ever wash your potatoes if you wanna store them. If you wash them, they will turn moldy. In fact, they all look good here. A little bit dirt on them actually helps preserve them. In the past, I've done videos where I showed people that I stored them in tin with lids and that method works really well too. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm going to hang these on the rafter, I think some of them but we're gonna just put them in here for now. And I have a couple more here. I forgot, I need to go through. So there's some more beets. The onions I'm gonna put separate. We're just getting the potatoes out. And of course the tomatoes we take out. Now I do have some more beets. 
but they're not quite large enough. So I'm gonna keep them in hopes that they get larger before we get frost. All right. Right, that is all the potatoes. So we're just going to put them together like this. I'm gonna put this in my out porch and I'll show you a video of that here in a minute. All right, we got that done. That will last us many, many, many months. I'll go put this in the house. I'm going to clean these beets and then I'll tell you what we're going to be doing next. Use my rain barrel a lot in the past, but you won't see me using my rain barrel to work on my produce. And the reason why is the rain barrel has rain water in it, which could have some pathogens in it that I wouldn't want for food. We don't drink out of a rain barrel, but I do laundry. I wash my clothing with it and I use it to wash up general things, but not when it has to do with food. So a garden hose works perfect. So I'm actually going to wash these beets and that is going to be for another video. But I'm going to wash them really good and then I have to cook them and then I'm going to can them. I hope you enjoyed spending a little time with me where I share with you the 19th century way to store your potatoes for longer term. And I can't wait to share with you on my daily videos, the old ways of doing things. you enjoyed this video of 19th century storing potatoes for long term and I can't wait to share with you again tomorrow what I am working on it's going to be bringing back the old-fashioned ways of living that's for sure take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow <laughs>